and... Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Pepper, George and Susie Sheep to visit Tinyland. Daddy, what is Tinyland? It's a world just like the real world, Peppa, but very tiny. It will be fun and educational. Is it real, with real tiny people living in it? No, it's just pretend. If everything there is tiny and small, then we will be giants. And we will go... Hello, little people. <coughs> and they will go... Ah, giants! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to get there. Stop! What's the problem, Mr Bull? There's no problem, Mummy Pig. We're just digging up the road. Will it take long? It will take as long as it takes. <gasps> but we're going to Tinyland today. Oh, I love Tinyland. Everything's so tiny. <gasps> and educational. That's important. Through you go. Thank you, Mr Bull. Thank you. Stop! But you let them through. They are going to Tinyland. That's important. Welcome to Tinyland, where everything is really tiny. And educational. Feast your eyes on the world of famous places. Wow! These are exact copies of real famous buildings, but a bit smaller. Ooh! Here's Big Ben, and next to it, the Eiffel Tower, just like it is in the real world. And the pyramids, Sydney Opera House, Statue of Liberty and the Kremlin. But these famous buildings aren't all on the same street in real life. Aren't they? Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, look at that! This is the land of water. Ooh, there are tiny little boats. And there's even a tiny Miss Rabbit. Boats! Boats! Get your boats here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is just one of my many jobs. This looks just like Pirate Island. And there are some pirates. Ha -ha! Ha -ha! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Dinosaur. <laughs> this is the land of dinosaurs. Wow! This is how the world looked a long time ago, before houses and cars and stuff. Ah! Here is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ah! Ooh. And over there is a Triceratops. Ah! <laughs> One is a herbivore and the other is a carnivore. Ah! Oh, look! They are playing together, just as they would have done. Amazing! This is exactly as it would have been all those millions of years ago. Except for the train. All aboard! There you are again, Miss Rabbit, driving the train. Full steam ahead! <laughs> Where's it going now? To tiny modern land. <laughs> clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train went on the track. Puff and puff, puff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. <laughs> <laughs> this is like where we live, Peppa. Yes, there are houses and cars and hills and trees. And trains and planes and boats. <laughs> it's a busy world. 24-hour non-stop. Stop! Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. Look there. Stop! It's a tiny little Mr. Bull digging up the road. That's what happened to us on our way here. Tiny Land is just like the real world, down to every tiny detail. We're digging up the road! <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit's Lighthouse. Pepper, George and Danny are having a day out on Grandad Dog's boat. Can we go to Pirate's Island today? Yes, Danny. But first, we've got to deliver supplies to my friend, Grampy Rabbit. Where does Grampy Rabbit live? On a rock. On a rock? Yes, in that lighthouse. Ooh. 
Ahoy there, matey! I brought your supplies! Oh, thank you, Grandad Dog. I've got my crew with me today. Danny, Pepper, and George. Visitors? I haven't had visitors in many a moon. I get a bit lonely with just the sea and sky for company. How long have you been here? Since Tuesday. Oh. I've got tales to tell, if you'd like to hear. No, thanks. Yes, please. Well, there's the sea and the sky and uh, I'm learning the banjo. Would you like to hear a song? No, thanks. Yes, please. I got up this morning. The sea was still there. So was the sky. The sea, the sky, the sea, the sky. Here's your cheese. Oh, I've missed cheese. And a new book. How to run a lighthouse. Oh, that'll come in handy. Why is your house called a lighthouse? I'll show you, Pepper. The staircase goes round and round to the very top of the lighthouse. Round and round and round! <laughs> it's called a lighthouse because it has this big light at the top. Wow! It shines through the dark, helping sailors to find their way. Ooh. And when it's foggy, I use this foghorn. Fog! That's loud. No fog today, just sea and sky. The stories I could tell... No, thank you. We've got to go. We're sailing to Pirate Island. Goodbye, Grumpy Rabbit. Enjoy the sea and the sky. We will. Grandad Dog's boat has arrived at Pirate Island. Look, our sandcastle is still here. Let's play hide and seek. OK. One, two, There are not three, many places to hide four, on Pirate Island. Five. Ready or not, here I come. Found you! Oh. Now, where's George? <laughs> Grandad Dog cannot find George anywhere. I give up. Where is he? Boo! George was hiding behind Grandad Dog. Clever George! <laughs> Let's set off home before it gets dark. Oh, it is getting dark. Don't worry. The light from Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse will show us the way home. Grampy Rabbit is ready for bed. Ah, <sighs> my new book, How to Run a Lighthouse. Chapter One. <sighs> I'll read the rest tomorrow. Better turn the light out. Oh, where did the light go? Know what time it is? I've just turned the lights out. Yes, we know. Could you turn the big light on again? Oh, sorry. Hooray! It is getting foggy. I can't see the light anymore. It's us again. Could you sound the fog horn? Of course. Fog! I can hear something. Oh. Grampy Rabbit is. Guiding them home. His voice is a foghorn. This way home! The parents are here to pick up the children. Have you had a lovely time? We went to Pirate Island and to a lighthouse. Grampy Rabbit's lighthouse guided us home safely. That's nice. Grampy Rabbit sang a song. Would you like to hear it? No, thanks. Yes, yes please. please. I got, got up this morning. morning. Capsule. Peppa and her friends are at their playgroup. Today we are going to make a time capsule. What's a time capsule? A time capsule is something that will show people in the future how we lived. How? We'll put special things in this box and then we'll bury it in the school garden. Will it grow? <laughs> <laughs> no, Susie. It will remain in the ground for many years. Ooh. Now, what things should we put inside? A comic. Very good, Pepper. <laughs> Music. Very good, Susie. <laughs> A toy. Nay. A coin. Stamps. Squeak. A carrot. 
<laughs> oh, you do like carrots, don't you, Rebecca? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All those are excellent things to show our daily lives. Madam Gazelle, <laughs> what will the future be like? What do you think it will be like? I think in the future, I will live on the moon. <laughs> and all my friends will come to visit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will fly a space rocket. Hello. <laughs> now we'll record a message for the people of the future. Say hello to the future. Hello to the future. <laughs> You're probably all living on the moon now and going on holiday to Mars. And flying around in space rockets. <laughs> 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 Wonderful. It is nearly home time and all the parents have arrived. <laughs> Mummy, Daddy, we've made a time capsule. Ah, Daddy Pig, you're just in time to help us dig a hole. Yes, of course. Daddy Pig is digging a hole in the school garden for the time capsule. There. Can we dig it up now? Ha oh, ha! It will remain in the ground for many years. Aw, but I can't wait that long. Pepper, you are just like your daddy when he was little. Am I? Yes, I remember when I was his teacher. Did you teach my daddy? Yes, I taught all of your mummies and daddies. Didn't I? Yes, yes Madam Marcel. <laughs> when your mummies and daddies were little, they made a time capsule too. Yes, we did. We buried it next to a little tree. Can we dig it up? Yes. I think we buried it over here. Oh, I thought it was a much smaller tree. Oh, it was a long time ago. The tree has grown a bit since then. <laughs> <laughs> I found something. It's our old time capsule. Hooray! I can't wait to open it. <laughs> Stand back, children. Yes, yes Madam, Madam Gazelle. Gazelle. What do we have here? Oh, an old comic. That was my favourite comic. A tin toy? My favourite toy! Music! My favourite record! And a very old carrot! That's mine! What a good choice, Mummy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a videotape of your mummies and daddies when they were little. Ooh! <laughs> Who's the little piggy in the glasses? Oh, that's Daddy Pig. Oh, and that's me! Hello to the future. <laughs> what a squeaky voice you have. <laughs> You're probably living on the moon now. <laughs> Silly little daddy pig. <laughs> <laughs> Making time capsules is such fun. And finding them is even better. <laughs> Is Pepper and George's bedtime. <laughs> Goodness me! Why are all these toys on your bed? That's where they live. Quickly, put the toys away in your toy basket. But the toy basket is full. Oh, so it is. Maybe you need a toy cupboard. Yes, I could make one tomorrow. The last thing you made, Daddy Pig, was this shelf. I'm very proud of that shelf. It's all wobbly. We use it as a slide for Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's buy a new toy cupboard. We can buy one now on the computer. Hooray! <laughs> Mummy Pig is using the computer to buy a toy cupboard. Aha! Uh -huh. Now, which one shall we get? Can we have this one, please? That looks perfect. Mummy Pig is buying the toy cupboard. Congratulations! Your toy cupboard is ordered. Oh, goody! <laughs> it is morning, and Mr Zebra the Postman has a special delivery. Post! <laughs> 
special delivery for Miss Peppa Pig and Master George. What is it? It's a toy cupboard. Oh, it looks a bit flat. Yes, you build it yourself. Oh. Don't worry, Pepper. It'll be very easy for your mummy and daddy to build. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now what do we do? Now we build your toy cupboard. Yes! <laughs> That's strange. There aren't any instructions. Maybe it's so easy to build, it doesn't need instructions. Mummy, can we help? Yes. First, I need a shelf. <laughs> Here's a green shelf. Thank you, Pepper. Now I need four legs. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four blue legs, Mummy. Lovely. We'll have this done in no time. Here's a red door, Mummy Pig. Thank you, Daddy Pig. There. Finished. Well done, Mummy Pig. It's very tiny. How will all our toys fit inside? It is a little small. <coughs> oh, George has found another bit. Uh, maybe that's a spare shelf. And there's all of these bits too. Oh dear, the cupboard is tiny because Mummy Pig has not used all the pieces. We'll just have to take it apart and start again. Oh no. If only we had the instructions. Who can that be? Hello, I've just found this in my van. It's the missing instructions. That will make things a lot easier. Hooray! <laughs> The instructions look very complicated. It's no good. It's nonsense. Leave it to me, Daddy Pig. I quite enjoy putting these things together. Really? Can we help in any way? You can put the kettle on. I'll have a nice cup of tea. With six sugars, please. Everyone is preparing tea and biscuits for Mr Zebra. Tea time, Mr Zebra. Wow! Mr Zebra has built the toy cupboard. My goodness, that was quick. Yes, and I've put all your toys in there too. Ooh! Thank you, Mr Zebra. <laughs> but there's no room for these last two. Oh, poor Teddy and Mr Dinosaur. Where are they going to live? Why not simply order another easy-to-make cupboard? No! I've got a better idea. Teddy and Mr Dinosaur can live on your beds. But, Mummy, that's where they lived before. Yes, I know. That's why it's such a good idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Pepper and her family have come to the summer fate. <laughs> Look! A display of rescue vehicles. Grandad Dog is showing his pickup truck. This is the sound my pickup truck makes. <laughs> Mummy Sheep is showing the fire engine. <laughs> this is the sound the fire engine makes. And Miss Rabbit is showing her rescue helicopter. This is the sound my helicopter makes. Helicopter reversing. Helicopter reversing. Ooh. Would you like to go for a ride? Yes, please. <laughs> OK, hop in. <laughs> oh, dear. There's no room for me. Never mind. I'll watch from the ground. Daddy Pig doesn't like heights. Whee-hee! We're going up in the air. <laughs> yes, it can go straight up. <laughs> it can go straight down. Whee! can even loop the loop. Whoa! <laughs> poor Daddy. He's missing all the fun. Yes, poor Daddy. One ice cream, please. Mmm, <laughs> that's nice. Maybe we should land now. Emergency, emergency. Calling rescue helicopter. I'm on my way. You're in luck. We've got a job to do. Mr Bull is digging up the road. Ooh. Hello, Miss Rabbit! 
I've got a big metal pipe that needs lifting. OK, Mr Bull. How can you lift that big pipe? With my big magnet. <laughs> What are you going to do with the pipe? Um, I'm not really sure. I know. I'll put it down here where someone can easily find it. Now I can give you a lift home. But what about Daddy? Hello. Daddy Pig, can you make your own way home? Miss Rabbit is giving us a lift. OK. Daddy, Daddy, we went up. And down and round and round. Oh, oh, I'm really sad to have missed that. See you back at home. <gasps> Who put that pipe there? I know. I'll take a shortcut. Mm, it's a bit muddy. Come on, car. Daddy Pig needs to get home. Daddy Pig is stuck. I'll ring for Grandad Dog's pickup truck. Hello! Great down recovery. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you come and rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm moving a big metal pipe that some maniac has left in the road. I'll pass you on to the next rescue service. Hello, fire service. I'm stuck in the mud. Can you rescue me, please? Sorry, Daddy Pig. I'm rescuing a tortoise that's stuck up a tree. Calm down, Tiddles. I don't know why you like climbing trees. You're a tortoise. Meh. <laughs> don't worry, Daddy Pig. I'll pass you on to the highest rescue service in the land. What's that noise? Whoa! I'm... Flying. Miss Rabbit's helicopter has rescued Daddy Pig. Hooray! Lucky Daddy gets a helicopter ride after all. <laughs> Shall we show him what my helicopter can do? Yes! yes. It can go straight up. Whoa! It can go straight down. Whoa! It can even move the loop. Everyone likes going up and down and round and round in Miss Rabbit's helicopter. Edmund Elephant's birthday. <laughs> Mr Zebra the postman is delivering a letter to Peppa's house. Oh, look, someone's got a party invitation. <laughs> it must be for me. It says... To George Pig from Edmund Elephant. Please come to my party. Doesn't it say George and Pepper? No, just George. Hmm, I didn't want to go to a silly baby party anyway. Hello? Oh, it's for you, Pepper. It's Emily Elephant. Hello. Hello, Pepper. Do you want to come to Edmund's party as my friend? Oh, yes, please. My mummy wants us to help with the little ones. Help? Yes, I can help. Danny and Susie are helpers too. Oh, goody. <laughs> Everyone is here for Edmund Elephant's party. <laughs> oh, the helpers are here. Hello, Mrs. Elephant. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Who wants to play musical statues? Yay! This is what you do. Dance when the music is playing and when it stops, freeze like a statue. Ready, steady, go! Just dance already! <laughs> this one is still blinking! You're out! You're moving, George! You're out! <laughs> Richard and Edmund are out! So Zaza is the winner! Hooray! You've got a medal! It's made of real plastic gold! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, Musical Statues is over! Lovely! <laughs> now 
it's time for Pass the Parcel. Yay! When the music plays, pass the parcel round. When the music stops, take some paper off. Ready, steady, go! George, pass the parcel! Edmund has got a medal. <laughs> Hurry up, Richard. Just take the paper off. Richard has got a medal. <laughs> George has got a medal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, George isn't passing the parcel. <laughs> no, George, that's Zaza's medal. <laughs> it's a giant teddy. Edmund has one. <laughs> Mummy, pass. Parcel is finished. Um, lovely. Now it's time for food. Hooray! <laughs> oh, the helpers have taken all the seats. <laughs> this is Edmund's party, remember? The helpers can eat after the little ones. Oh, oh yes. yes. We're the helpers. <laughs> <laughs> Goose, please. Juice, please. Juice, please. Jelly, please. Jelly, jelly. More, please. Happy birthday, Edmund. Happy birthday, Edmund. <laughs> it is the end of the party. Thank you to the helpers. You all worked really hard. Yes. It's not easy looking after little children. <gasps> I need to lie down. I need a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> It is a lovely sunny day. Mr and Mrs Kangaroo have come to visit. Hello. G'day, Mr Pig. We met at the airport, remember? Um... It was a while back. You said we could visit any time. Did I? Yeah. Since we last saw you, we've had Kylie and Joey. Say hello, kids. Hello, I'm Kylie Kangaroo. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> and this is my little brother, George. <coughs> this is my little brother, Joey. <laughs> Joey lives in Mummy Kangaroo's pocket. <laughs> it's thirsty work, this travelling around. Would you like a drink? Yes, please. Lemonade. My favourite. Mmm, that's lovely. Here, sit down. Are you hungry? I'm always hungry. No worries. We'll make lunch. Mr Kangaroo is going to cook lunch on a barbecue. Corn on the cob, anyone? Yummy. Yummy. We should do this at our house. Hang on. This is our house. Come on, Kylie. Let's play in the garden. We can play my favourite game, jumping up and down in muddy puddles. I like jumping too. First, we have to find a puddle. Oh, there aren't any muddy puddles. The ground is too dry for muddy puddles. I wish it would rain. I hope it doesn't rain. Oh, we love rain. We don't see much of it back home. Well, if you want to make it rain in this country, have a barbecue. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can still do jumping. <laughs> George is quite good at jumping, but I am the best. Watch this. That's how you do it. Now you try, Kylie. OK. Kangaroos can jump very high. Wow. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello, Rebecca. This is my friend, Kylie. Hello, Kylie. Are you playing a game? We are jumping. Rabbits are the best at jumping. Watch this. Well done, Rebecca.
but that's not as good as my friend Kylie. Go on, do your jump. I don't want to show off. Do it. OK. That is high. <laughs> Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hello, Pedro. This is my friend, Kylie Kangaroo. She's my friend. She can jump higher than anyone. No one can jump higher than me or my super space hopper. Show him, Kylie. But Pedro did really well. Do it. OK. Wow! Kylie Kangaroo is the best at jumping. I could jump higher, but I'm a little bit tired. Ugh! What was that? It is raining. Like I said, if you want it to rain, start a barbecue. I'm afraid we'll all have to go indoors. What? And miss the rain? <laughs> <laughs> Mr Kangaroo has got a big umbrella to shelter everyone from the rain. Food's ready. Who's hungry? Me! 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 Mmm, yummy! Pepper likes corn on the cob. Mm. Everyone likes corn on the cob. It stopped raining. The rain makes everything so fresh and green. And wet. And muddy! <laughs> <laughs> this is how you jump in muddy puddles. Wow, that looks fun. <laughs> I'm the best at jumping, but Peppa's the best at jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs>